That's why Max is going first. <laughs> All right, so today I'm doing a review of my Rife Euro 130. Uh, it's got the open track. It's not the new version that has the enclosed track, which I like because if your shaft bends like at all, you're still able to like get it into the gun. Uh, this is the only gun that I use. That's one of the things, the main things that I love about it is that I can use this for diving on the reef and I can take one band off and I can shoot in holes if I need to. Uh, but then this is also the gun that I use for blue water for Ono and Ahi. So that's like one of the main attractions to it for me. I also love just how simple the design is and uh, how reliable it is. It's, it's never tangled up on me. It's, it's never misfired. The trigger mech is really solid. And yeah, I'm gonna take it out for a dive this morning and hopefully I'll get some videos to show it in action. All right, what's the plan today, boss? Um, shoot a lot of ukus. Ukus, yeah? yeah. All right. And they look like Ryan Myers doing it. Oh, or yeah. Justin Lee, actually. Oh, there you go. <laughs> I know it's taking a drop right here and you can really see what the conditions were like. Super murky, low light, still really early in the morning. But in this clip, the reason that the footage isn't the best is because I had to max out the exposure and brightness in order for it to actually show up at all. But I think it's a great video that displays how maneuverable this gun is, even though it's long and just how much I trust it in these low light conditions. A nice Omilu comes out of the cave right there. It's at the bottom left of the screen by that little butterfly fish. Comes around the rock. Notice how I'm moving the gun. And boom, and I stoned it. And that's my first legit Omilu and I was so stoked on it. <laughs> I want to say a couple of things about shot selection with a longer gun like this. You do have to be careful about where your target is in relation to the reef. You can bend your shafts and that has happened to me once or twice, but those are my mistakes, not waiting for the right opportunity to present itself. Normally, an easy way to overcome that is to just take one band off the gun, just unload it while you're down on the reef if none of the fish come in that you're looking for and there's a roy or a taape that you're trying to shoot. Right there, I notice a nice barred papillo coming in and I'm able to line up on it and take a nice holding shot. In the slow motion, I want to point out just how steady the gun is as I'm lining up on it. Even though there's a lot of surge on this day, there was quite a bit of waves. I almost got a stone shot on it, just missed it, but was able to secure this beautiful eating fish. So on our way in there, we switched. I took the three prong and 
and you shot the Rife Euro 130. What what'd you think of it? You shot a Kumu with it, right? I thought it was like butter. It was so smooth. Used one band? One band, but... One band is all you needed. One, one band is all you need, but the, my favorite part is the handle is just like, it's so good in your hand. If it's better than like those hook, those hook grips, I think. I like the handle on the Rife a lot. It's better than... How did it feel? What, what did you like about it? I don't know. It just like felt like a laser. That's not even... That just, it just felt like it went exactly where I pointed to the stage. So that's a really good point that Nainoa makes about the handle on this gun. It is so comfortable and I really like what it's made out of. The material is pretty sticky so it feels like you have a really nice grip on it. And I'm 6'1", I don't have that big of hands but my fingers are pretty thick. And one of the things I like about this gun is that the grip is almost too small for my hand, which just helps it feel like I have a lot more control when I'm aiming it. Another thing I love about this gun is when you're lining it up on a fish and looking down the shaft, um, it's really low profile and just um, you can see exactly where you're gonna be shooting. And so I feel like that really helps improve my accuracy I really love this little cut that it has in the loading pad. Some guns don't have that, and so you're actually looking down the shaft from a little bit up higher than you should, and sometimes that'll throw your shot off. Before we get into the clips of doing the blue water hunting, I just wanted to show you really quick how I transfer between uh, my real gun setup and blue water. And so obviously it's the same gun, but I just have my reel here, and the line goes up through the eye on the muzzle and I just tie it off to the shooting line right there with a little slip knot. It's a wrap and a half of shooting line that I use and I never need more than that for while I'm hunting on the reef. But yeah, just pull it out like that and then I'll take the shaft out from the reef. I just use this single flopper rife shaft. The extra reel line, I'll just uh, Reel that up real quick. And then I just tie it to these bars right here and secure it that way so it stays out of the way. Just like that, just tie it off right there. And then just gonna grab my threaded shaft with this Rife ice pick slip tip on it. And put that in. Just in there. Boom. This has two wraps on it. And then I've got my bungee just ready to go on the end of this. Just uh, stretch it down right there and it's ready to go. I just clip in to this loop here that I have. It's like doubled up mono and yeah, that's it. It's ready to go for blue water with the breakaway setup. So it's a quick, easy way that I found to switch between your reel and blue water. This is ready to go. This right here is a perfect example of the range and power that this gun is capable of. 
was able to put a nice holding shot on that Ono. Unfortunately, our chum float with the flasher got tangled up in my breakaway float and I had to untangle it while fighting the fish. But thankfully I was able to do that and catch up to the float to secure this beautiful fish. <laughs> so you think you'd want to try a rife gun in the future if rife gave me a gun i would try <laughs> <laughs> well rife you heard him you heard the man <laughs> 